Recently, I was asked on the process of making rope, and it's a very simple process. You just need a few things. We're going to be using jute twine for this project. I like to tell individuals to have two nails, one larger, one a little bit smaller. You're going to need an upright. Let's call it an upright. That's about the size of our, of our arm from our wrist to our elbow, and then something that's comfortable the size of your hand for your handle. If you have that stuff and you have your axe, which we should all be carrying, you're good to go. So let me show you how to make the rope spinner itself. To make this rope spinner, we basically take our upright that we cut, we're gonna take our nail and we're gonna drive it through. Now, one thing that could happen, depending on the wood choice that you have, is this can split out. Does that matter? Maybe yes, maybe no. What you can do is put a lashing on the bottom of this piece if you're afraid it's gonna split out. I'm quite confident that we should be able to get this nail through. I'm just gonna tighten up my ax sheath a little bit more so it doesn't come flying off. We're gonna get our nail set and just drive that straight through. So it's coming through fine. You can see I split a little bit, but that's not big of a problem at all. Pull that out. And now we have a nail right through our piece of wood. At this point, we can take our handle piece and drive that nail down into the handle piece. So it's a simple process, guys. It's nothing that is very complicated. What I like to tell people, though, when they do this, is don't drive that handle real hard against the upright. Let a little bit of gap in there, and it'll work fine. And then at that point, we'll be able to spin this just like that to make our rope. What you can do then is go on the inside of this piece and put a small notch if you would want and I'm gonna do that here in a second and then we'll get set up to actually start spinning some rope. So what I'm gonna do at this point now is take my jute twine, I put a nail in the tree and we have my rope spinner. All right, we're gonna take the jute twine and we're gonna measure this out. Now the thing with making rope like this is you need an extreme amount of smaller cordage to make minimal amount of rope. So I'm gonna say that this in general is going to lose about 60% of the total length, maybe even a little bit more, closer to 75. So what we wanna do is take one end, put it around our nail, and I'm just gonna knock this nail back a little bit on this tree so it holds on there good. Okay, I'm gonna walk this way back until I get my desired length of what I'm looking for. <clears throat> now that I got the correct length that I'm looking for. I'm going to cut my cordage and just tie a simple overhand knot in it. This is nothing fancy whatsoever. All right. We're going to take our rope spinner at this point, place that upright upward like that, and then we're going to begin the spin. Now you need to remember what direction you're spinning in because the next step we're going to spin the opposite way. So I normally start by going clockwise. So all we're gonna do is just start to spin this rope spinner just like this. So I'm gonna stand for a while and spin and spin and spin some more. People kill themselves with this. It's just a constant motion. Don't wear yourself out, it's gonna take a while. If you're making super long strands of rope, it's gonna take longer. So just sit, stand, I mean, get comfortable and uh, let the momentum of this swing around. To identify when you're done spinning in one direction, there's two different methods you can do. Number one, either just look at the cordage that you're working with, and if it seems like it has a nice tight wrap, you're probably close to being set where you need to be. The other method is let it go, and if the cordage starts to double up on itself, you're right where you need to be. Once we identify that our line is twisted enough, either by the two methods that I showed you that the tight um, twist looks good or that it's doubling up on itself, we want to pull back and set our, set our line. 
And what that's doing is setting the fibers in place with that new twist. The next step is usually where people get the most mixed up. This is by far the step that most people get mixed up and it should be very simple for yourself. What we need to do now is triple the rope. So how we triple a rope is very simple. We're gonna take our line at any location and we're gonna place it over our nail. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna start to walk back. We can keep that on our nail. We're gonna start to walk back and slide that line until it's in three pieces. Very, very simple. At that point, place this large loop that we just created over our rope spinner. Now I always like to set my rope spinner down at this point and readjust my nail if needed. I don't want this to slide off. That looks really good, so I'm gonna keep it how it is. At this point now, we went clockwise, we're gonna go counterclockwise, and we're gonna to start to spin our rope counterclockwise. And this is gonna create the actual piece of rope. Once your line gets that it looks like a piece of rope, at that point we're gonna set our line again. You're gonna feel a stretch in your cordage, in your rope now, actually. You're gonna feel a stretch and let it go. If it starts to bind up on itself and roll on itself, you need to stretch it a little bit more and set it a little bit better, which we're gonna do. And now we have ourselves a piece of rope. I'm gonna go ahead and put a straight lash on each end of this, cut it free from our rope spinner and our nail, and we'll look at the piece of rope we made. So check it out, guys. We got ourselves some rope. I hope you enjoyed this video. It's a simple process. It's easy, give it a try. Jute twine is a very good uh, supply to carry while we're out here in the woods. It's great for fire starting. It's great for quick lashings. And now you can also make rope with it. So it just adds to the versatility of it. If you haven't already, check us out at coldcrackerbushcraft.com. And until the next video, stay in the woods, guys.